YouTube. Marsha Hanna here, or Oracle DBA girl, as some of you all know me as, from Online DBA Academy. And in today's video, I would like to go over absolute path versus relative path. Now, I will be using Red Hat Enterprise Linux, more specifically Oracle Linux. For those in my class, I decided to do this because a lot of you all have struggled with absolute path versus relative path. So I decided to create a video to explain this thoroughly for you. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So first I had a definition of both of these paths. The first one we have absolute path. The definition for absolute path is the full location of a file or directory. It will always start with the root path. That is key. This is going to be the main important thing. It's always going to start with the root directory and it's the full location of a file or directory. For an example, we have home, oracle, and that should be desktop. I'm sorry about that typo. Um, here, if you notice, it start with root, start in the root directory, and then it goes down to home, oracle, and then desktop. So next, we have relative path. Relative path is going to be the location of the file. One second, my battery is going low. Let me plug in my charger. So next we have relative path. Relative path is going to be the location of the file or directory that is currently next to you or closest related to you, which is why they call it relative. It's going to be related to you. An example would be if you are in the user directory, or we're going to say if you was in the, di the desktop directory, you could CD back to Oracle. Or if you had something that was in the desktop directory, you could CD up another uh, directory or file. But I'm going to show you this because I know that this right here can be a bit confusing. But the thing is, you can CD to something that's close to you without, doing, uh, without going to the full directory. For instance, if this was desktop, you could CD back to the Oracle directory. So let's go ahead and look at this as an example. Go ahead and pull up Putty, or if you're not in my class, just put up, pull up whatever you use to access your Linux file system. As you all can see, I have Putty up. And what we're first going to start with is, because the absolute path, it begins with the root, we're going to go there. We're going to CD the root. Now here, we're going to do LS. Now this is key to you all really getting to know your file system. Absolute path and relative path require you to get to know your file system. To the degree that you know your file system will be the degree that you're able to use absolute path and relative path. Now for my students that's in Oracle Linux, the two main directories that we're going to focus on is ETC and home. Uh, you will get into seeing FRAs and the Oracle Database Administration course. But for now, we're just going to focus on ETC at home because those two file systems are universal to any Linux operating system. As a matter of fact, I'll use an example. Most of my students struggle with finding the host file if it's their first time doing Linux. And I'm like, find the host file. They struggle finding that file. What they do is they say VI host. And they get this screen. Now, I'm going to show you why you're getting this error. You're getting this error because if we do ls, you don't see the host file. You cannot just go straight to host if you don't see it. We are going to talk about absolute path first. To get to the absolute path of the host file, you have to know where the host file is located. So we start here at the root. You have to know which one of these the host file is in. And I can tell you now that the host file is in ETC. So we would CD to ETC. And I'm going to do the whole thing. So we would CD to ETC. And then if we do LS here, the host file is going to be located here. This is going to be relative as a matter of fact. but in order to get to it, we could say VI ETC host. It takes us there. 
this is what you're looking for. So if we're going to exit out of here, we'll do LS minus LTR ETC host. You have to know where this file is. If you know where the file is, you can access it. We use absolute path. As you can see, we started with root, we went into ETC, and then we went into host. You can also VI into it using the absolute path. But also, if we look at relative path, because we are in ETC, if we do PWD, as you can see, we are in ETC. So because we are in the ETC directory and it's located within the ETC directory, we can say VI host and it will open. That only works because we are relatively related to host. Host is in the directory that we are in. Therefore, we can uh, uh, VI to that file. Now, let's do PWD one more time. So if we look at PWD, as you can see, we are in the ETC directory. ETC is related to the root directory. So therefore, we can also do CD back back. And if we do CD back back one, it takes us back to the root because the root is related to ETC. We do LS. Every folder that you see here is going to be related to the root folder. So let's look at home. We can say CD home. If we do CD home, it takes us directly there. We did not have to use the forward slash because home was related to ETC. If, let's do the same thing here, LS. Okay, so these are all the folders that are related to home. In this case, we want to go to Oracle. So you want to do LS again. Again, you see all the directories that's related to home. Whenever it's related to a folder, you can just go to that folder by just CD and then let's do videos. You don't have to type in the forward slash. Now, but if we do PWD, you guys can see that the absolute path is home Oracle videos. So let's say we wanted to get to downloads, right? You have to know where that is located. You guys should know that that's in Oracle's home. So to get to that folder, I can't just say CD to downloads. It says no such file or directory because it's not related to the videos. Even if we can go back one, if we go back one, I think we will be in a home. Now you see downloads. So if we wanted to get to downloads and we were in the videos directory, you have two ways. The first way you can get there is you can go to the absolute path, which is home, Oracle, downloads, right? Or we're going to CD back one. You could also do CD back back. We know that this is the home. So we can say home and then we can say download. Huh, that didn't work. CD back back. And let me see. Let's do PWD. Okay. The reason why that didn't work is because I did download. I did home, but it's actually Oracle. So it would be CD back back Oracle. And then it would be uh, download. That didn't work. Hmm, that should have worked. Try this one more time. CD back back one, and then we do Oracle. I'm not sure why that's not working. It took us to Oracle, now we can do downloads. So I'm not sure why that did not work. It should have worked. Um, but anyways, the key concept here to take away is absolute is the full path. If we do CD back back, we're in the home directory. So let's say we want to get to desktop. All we would have to do is CD to desktop because we can see desktop. It is related 
to Oracle. We do enter. But if we wanted to do the full path, you would say CD, home, Oracle, desktop. And that's how it works. This is the absolute path. It starts with the full path and it has the full location of whatever directory you want to get into. So just to reiterate, here we are at desktop. You cannot say VI host. You're going to create a new file. You have to know where that file is located. You have to know that that file is in your ETC directory and then you VI to host. Okay? So the main thing that I want you all to take away from here is get to know your file system. Go to your root and figure out what's in your file system. Get to know what's in the ETC file system. Get to know what's in the home system. And once you get into the database administration course, get to know your Oracle home. So I'll just say that. That's the takeaway. If you guys have any questions concerning absolute path, relative path, please reach out to me and ask. I really hope that this video helps. Um, for anybody who's watching this video and you're not familiar with any of my teachings or my course, head over to www.onlinedbaacademy.com. We train people in Oracle Linux, Oracle SQL, and Oracle Database Administration. If you like this video, if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Thank you for the love. Marche Hanner, Oracle DBA Girl, signing off.